Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Was that the one that got arrested for wire fraud? Or for fighting a cop? Wait, two of them did wire fraud. Hang on, where's the other one from? Salt Lake? Man, I need to get caught up. I lost track after DC. Hey, I don't always have free time to stay on top of it. Plus, it's not the only trash TV that I've got to catch. You humans keep pumping these out. How's a demon supposed to keep up? Okay, let's skip to that Salt Lake next. I want to try and guess which one of them did it before you tell me. Oh, of course we're finishing the season first. You know I never miss a reunion special. <sighs> you know, of all the humans that I've been bonded to, you've definitely become my favorite. Honestly, at least top five. I mean, sure, I enjoy creating madness and chaos as much as the next demon. And I'm damn good at it, too. But... <laughs> Sometimes I just don't feel like helping out egomaniacs or stoic cultist types. They almost always go through that same tired old plan. They go out the same way. And they all get so surprised when they have to face the consequences of their actions after they... Well, after they finally kick the bucket, or whatever you want to call it. Sometimes, I just want to enjoy some trash TV and eat some of Earth's most quality junk food with a cute little human to keep me company. <laughs> oh, quit rolling your eyes, sweetness. I see that smile and the blush. You can't fool me. <laughs> hey. But for real, I like hanging around you. You're funny. You're considerate. You're obviously sweet, in case you haven't caught that one yet. Maybe a little too good for your own well-being, but hey, we can work with that. You've got all that. Plus, you keep up on all the best of the worst shows and movies. Honestly, you keep this up and I might just have to get human married to you. <laughs> yes, I did specifically say human. Because demon marriage is on a whole other level. Uh, I'll tell you when you're older, sweetness. Yeah, I know that you're an adult, but I mean when you're around my age. Exactly. If you can somehow manage to live 
decades past the average human lifespan, then, and only then, you will earn the privilege of knowing about demon marriage. Maybe. <laughs> hey, them's the rules that I just made up. I don't make them. Well, maybe I do. <laughs> Anywho, we are running tragically low on chips. So let's pause for just a second. Any requests while I'm up? Wait, we have those? <laughs> I thought they were sold out when you went out yesterday. Oh, sweetness. If being there didn't give me hives, I would think that I were in heaven with you. Right now. Be right back, dear. Human, be not afraid. You have been constrained in the grasp of evil. But I, the angel Raphael, will protect your purest of hearts before the powers below can poison it with their darkness. I must apologize for how long that it has taken for us to come to you. I know not why there was such a delay, but the moment that I learned of the demon who has been haunting your being, I knew that I couldn't sit by for another second and leave you at their mercy. No, no, dearest. You don't have to explain anything to me. I understand. I know your heart is good. It is that foul demon that is attempting to lead you astray from the path of the light. But fear not, I shall deal with them personally, and smite them swiftly. Hey, I can't find the goods. Did you leave them in the car, or... Oh, the hell is this? Human, quickly. Get behind me. Don't fret. They aren't getting close to you while I am here. Foul creature of the underworld. Your corruption of the innocent ends here and now. All right. I don't recognize you. So I'm going to assume that you're new at this. Look, this is a particularly weird situation, so let me explain. Whoa, dude. Hang on a second. I need... Enough time has been wasted leaving this poor human in your grimy, filthy hands. Your time has come. Yeah, I kind of get that, under normal circumstances, but if you would just listen, 
damn it. Will you knock it off? I'm not trying to fight you. <laughs> you are wise enough to know not to take arms against the powers above. <sighs> no harp for brains. I am trying to explain this special situation here. I've heard enough out of you. Now, silence! <laughs> ah. Son of a... I said silence! <laughs> Your filthy tongue will no longer sully this human's ears. Now, say... Your prayers, beast. Human, what are you doing? Sweetness, be careful. That glaive that he has is no joke. Human, while I praise you for trying to avoid violence, I must smite this demon before the corruption sets into your soul. Saved you? Oh, poor sweet human. This beast has already started to distort your perception. He has tricked you into joining the dark side. You must resist that temptation. You must Head towards the light. Oh, she's not dying, you dolt. Despite you almost turning her into a kebab. How many times must I order you to be silent? I will once you get the clouds out of your ears and listen to us. Clouds don't work that way, you idiot. They're condensed water vapor, obviously. <sighs> oh. My. God. Do not take that name in vain, foul creature. Now, let me... Human, please... I need you to step aside so that I might smite the evil that is corrupting you and enough, Halo Head. You angels have the ability to sense when we demons are using our abilities on the humans. Do you sense literally anything remotely like that? Well, I... Uh, 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 I said yes or no. No, but you could... Were you sent by one of the higher spheres to take care of me then? Well... Tick-tock, Halo Head. Yes or no. No. They... they didn't. Did you happen to wonder why they might be leaving this human with me? I... I didn't ask. I just saw you hanging around this human, and I knew that I had to step in and protect her from you. Her existence so far never indicated any crossing with the dark forces, and then there you are, suddenly following her around, clearly up to no good. <sighs> well, you've got the right idea, to be fair. But 
you may be missing a teeny tiny bit of a thing called context. What could you possibly be talking about? See, our dearest little human here was dating a real swell guy by the name of Lon. Uh, yeah, what I said, Michael. He decided that he wanted to mess with the dark forces, but he wanted to take the easy route and try to use someone else's blood to complete the ritual. And the someone that he decided would be a good choice was this sweet little human here. How? How could somebody do that? Especially to somebody that they are supposed to love. Honestly, it happens more often than you would think, Feathers. And to say that he loved her. It's a bit of a stretch, considering what he did. Anywho, that leech in human form tricked her into going to his summoning spot. And then he tried to use her blood to summon me. Well, he didn't try. I'm here. But due to his inability to do something as simple and important as reading the fine print, I am now bound to her soul so long as she lives. Typically, my contracts entail that I shall be subservient to the blood giver, and once the contract is complete... I drag the soul back down to hell with me, and, well, it's a whole damn thing. So, because of a bad ex, this poor human is suspend their remaining days under your influence? Not on my Watch. Hold on. Hold on. You need to quit jumping to conclusions. You know what happens when you assume. It makes an a- Okay, okay, fine. Please continue. Thank you, Feathers. As I was trying to say, that sort of stuff would happen under normal circumstances. However, sweetness here was brought unwillingly into the contract. And she isn't exactly the poster child for darkness here, is she? Just look at how cute and soft she is. She's not meant for that business. Oh, yes, you are that soft. Don't act like we weren't chilling in a pillow fort with hot cocoa and cartoons just a few days ago. <laughs> Too easy. Yeah, she's not doing any evil deeds in this lifetime. All right. Well, who's to say that you aren't trying to influence her into the dark arts, hmm? I just said, I'm more of the subservient type. I don't do that influence stuff. It's too much work. The people who normally summon me 
don't really need any more convincing to do bad stuff. They're already willing to give their blood and soul to me. Then, you aren't influencing the human or causing chaos? What are you doing? Well, we were trying to enjoy a night of watching rich people yell at each other before we were so rudely interrupted by a burst of light or whatever. <clears throat> well, I thought my burst of light was pretty cool. Besides that, I make sure that the human is safe and happy. Helping out around the place, making sure that former ball and chain doesn't come snooping around. Not the usual excitement that I'm accustomed to, but hey, I like it here. And I'm just supposed to believe all of that. You have the ability to see whether or not I'm lying. So, if you don't believe me, that's on you. And you can always ask the one in the middle of this whole shebang. Uh, yes. Well, dear human, is what this beast is saying true? Please, be honest. I will know if you are trying to hide the truth from me. I see. So, you're really okay with being stuck with this... this creature? Wow. Okay, I am still right here, Feathers. Hmm. All right. I do have faith in you, dearest. You have proven in the past that you have a good heart and a solid head on your shoulders. I believe that you can stay on the path of righteousness. Fabulous. Now that we've cleared up your misunderstanding, do you mind flapping your way back out? We were right in the middle of some very important television watching. Not so fast, demon. Just because I have faith in our human doesn't mean that I trust you. Wait. Our human? Yes, our human. Dearest, as of today, I shall be your new guardian angel. I swear myself, body and soul. And feathers. <sighs> to keeping you safe and helping you lead a happy and fulfilling life. Hold on, buddy. I'm doing a wonderful job of helping the human. Look at this face. Is this the face of an unhappy human here? At most a little confused, but perfectly happy. What? and let your bad habits rub off on her. <laughs> I don't think so. I will have you know that I have great habits. Human, tell them how good of a roommate I am. I even cleaned up behind the fridge. Now, how many other roommates would do that? I could do even more. 
Oh, no, no, you are not staying here. Have you ever heard the term, three's a crowd, Halohead? I believe that it isn't up to you, Hellspawn. It's up to the human. <sighs> Sweetness, you can't possibly be considering letting this wet blanket here ruin the good vibes that we have going on. See, the human said that I can stay. If. What do you mean, if? Get along with them. Oh, dearest, with the utmost respect, this creature is against everything that I stand for. I don't see how I am supposed to get along with my greatest enemy. Greatest enemy? That's a little strong there, don't you think? We just met. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Listen, Ramiel. It's Raphael. Right then. Listen. We clearly both have the same purpose in mind. Keeping the little human here safe. I'm willing to keep my more dubious activities to a minimum for their sake. And like you said, it's up to them. I guess that I can keep things civil, for the human at least. But still, I don't like you. <laughs> I'll get over it. Well, you heard a halo head. Let's shake on it. All right, deal. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, I did not mean that kind of deal. I... <laughs> oh, chill out, will you? I'm fine with the contract that I'm currently in. I have no desire to trick you into anything. I'm spending more than enough time with you, as is. <clears throat> I just wanted to be sure. So, what do we do now? Oh, right. Picking up the mess from our little scuffle would probably be a good place to start. And after we get things back in order, might I suggest we get comfy back on the couch and continue watching this quality entertainment? They just entered a nice restaurant, so you know they're about to start yelling at each other. Uh, how can anyone stand to watch this nonsense? I find the best way is with a warm blanket and a stiff drink. Now, help me pick this coffee table back up 